The Book of Jasher, Chapter 5 And it was in the eighty-fourth year of the life of Noah that Enoch the son of Seth died. He was nine hundred and five years old at his death. And in the one hundred and seventy-ninth year of the life of Noah, Canaan the son of Enosh died, and all the days of Canaan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And in the two hundred and thirty-fourth year of the life of Noah, Malalel the son of Canaan died, and the days of Malalel were eight hundred and ninety-five years, and he died. And the days of Malalel were eight hundred and ninety-five years, and he died. And Jared the son of Malalel died in those days, in the three hundred and thirty-sixth year of the life of Noah. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred and sixty-two years, and he died. And all who followed the Lord died in those days, before they saw the evil which God declared to do upon the earth. And after the lapse of many years, in the four hundred and eightieth year of the life of Noah, when all those men who followed the Lord died away from amongst the sons of men, and only Methuselah was then left, God said unto Noah and Methuselah, saying, Speak ye, and proclaim to the sons of men, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Return from your evil ways, and forsake your works, and the Lord will repent of the evil that he declared to do to you, so that it shall not come to pass. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I give you a period of one hundred and twenty years. If you will turn to me and forsake your evil ways, then will I also turn away from the evil which I told you, and it shall not exist, saith the Lord. And Noah and Methuselah spoke all the words of the Lord to the sons of men day after day, constantly speaking to them. But the sons of men would not hearken to them, nor incline their ears to their words, and they were stiff-necked. And the Lord granted them a period of one hundred and twenty years, saying, If they will return, then will God repent of the evil, so as not to destroy the earth. Noah the son of Lamech refrained from taking a wife in those days to beget children, for he said, Surely now God will destroy the earth, wherefore then shall I beget children? And Noah was a just man, he was perfect in his generation, and the Lord chose him to raise up seed from his seed upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Noah, Take unto thee a wife, and beget children, for I have seen the righteous before me in this generation. And thou shalt raise up seed, and thy children with thee in the midst of the earth. And Noah went and took a wife, and he chose Nama, the daughter of Enoch, and she was five hundred and eighty years old. And Noah was four hundred and ninety-eight years old when he took Nama for a wife. And Nama conceived and bare a son, and called his name Japheth, saying, God has enlarged me in the earth. And she conceived again, and bare a son, and he called his name Shem, saying, God has made me a remnant, to raise up seed in the midst of the earth. And Noah was five hundred and two years old when Nama bare Shem. And the boys grew up, and went in the ways of the Lord, in all that Methuselah and Noah their father taught them. And Lamech the father of Noah died in those days. Yet verily he did not go with all his heart in the ways of his father, and he died in the hundred and ninety-fifth year of the life of Noah. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred and seventy years, and he died. And all the sons of men who knew the Lord died in that year before the Lord brought evil upon them. For the Lord willed them to die, so as not to behold the evil that God would bring upon their brothers and relatives, as he had so declared to do. In that time the Lord said to Noah and Methuselah, Stand forth and proclaim to the sons of men all the words that I spoke to you in those days. For adventure they may turn from their evil ways, and I will then repent of the evil, and will not bring it. And Noah and Methuselah stood forth, and said in the ears of the sons of men all that God had spoken concerning them. But the sons of men would not hearken, neither would they incline their ears to all their declarations. And it was after this that the Lord said to Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me on account of their evil deeds, and behold, I will destroy the earth. 
and do thou take unto thee gopher wood and go to a certain place and make a large ark and place it in that spot and thus shalt thou make it three hundred cubits its length fifty cubits broad and thirty cubits high and thou shalt make unto thee a door open at its side and to a cubit thou shalt finish above and cover it within and without with pitch and behold i will bring the flood of waters upon the earth and all flesh be destroyed from under the heavens all that is upon earth shall perish and thou and thy household shall go and gather two couple of all living things male and female and shall bring them to the ark to raise up seed from them upon earth and gather unto thee all food that is eaten by all the animals that there may be food for thee and for them and thou shalt choose for thy sons three maidens from the daughters of men and they shall be wives to thy sons and Noah rose up, and he made the ark in the place where God had commanded him, and Noah did as God had ordained him. In his five hundred and ninety-fifth year, Noah commenced to make the ark, and he made the ark in five years, as the Lord had commanded. Then Noah took the three daughters of Eliakim, son of Methuselah, for wives for his sons, as the Lord had commanded Noah. And it was at that time Methuselah the son of Enoch died, nine hundred and sixty years old was he at his death.